Hello everyone, my name is Mero and today I'm going to show you how I create a collage in my journal entries. A collage is basically a collection or combination of various things or materials. You can use paper, but also tissues, pictures and books. If you're curious to see how I do it, you can join me in this video. Grab your own journal and a cup of coffee or tea and let's create! First of all, I'm going to show you my essentials. I'm using a couple of old magazines that I have already read and one more useful for creating a collage. A book that I bought at a second-hand store for 2 euros. My yellow art journal that is from the Italian brand Sayak. Another book with brown and black paper. A pair of scissors, glue and a black fine liner. We're going to dive in into the art journal and start with a clean spread. Does anyone else like the feeling of empty pages? I like that the pages can be a metaphor for endless possibilities. I can still decide to use paint in it or pictures or my writings. The options are unlimited. Let's start. I think the fun part about creating a collage is that there are absolutely no restrictions or rules that you should follow. I'm starting with a brown paper background because I like to work with different papers and textures. After that I cut out a few pictures that I will later on glue in my journal. It's all about experimenting and seeing what you like best. Just mix and match until you are satisfied with what you see. There are different things that you can do. For example, you can start by picking a color scheme that you really like. After that, you can choose pictures or drawings with the same colors in it. And that way, it doesn't matter how busy the collage is, since you still have balance and unity because of the color scheme. Another tip is to buy secondhand books from the market or a vintage store. What's great about it is that you can use the words in these books in a million different ways. Of course, you should not use your scissors in your favorite books. I get the struggle, I'm a reader as well. But I really like this technique because the words add something nice to your journal entries. Something that bothered me as a kid and still bothers me now is that I always end up using too much glue. Make sure that you let the pages dry for a long time before you close the book, because otherwise you might ruin the pages. Trust me, I speak from experience. I'm adding a couple of details to this page. This is a tissue that I got from a restaurant. I'm reusing it today to clue it in my journal. I'm even making a little pocket out of it, so a dried flower can stick between the layers. We're going to work on the second page now. I'm using my scissors again to cut from old magazines. You can do this based on your mood. Before you start a collage, you can ask yourself, what do I want to create today? Do I want to include people in my collage, drawings or something else? Here I'm adding a galaxy sheet. In a small video down below, you can see how I created this. I'm using a paintbrush and white gouache paint to get the galaxy effect. After that, it's once again time to decorate the page. Although I'm mostly working with paper materials today, you could also think of using different materials, such as dried flowers, paint, pictures that you took yourself, or you could leave more white space to write. However, when you create a collage, be careful that you do not use too many pictures that look alike. A collage usually looks more interesting when you combine different pictures or materials. I like to let my pages breathe as well. That way they're not totally decorated, but they still have their own character. As you can see here, I'm focusing on the color light pink on this page. Since this color is not so bold, you are able to use different shades. Just keep going until you're satisfied. I'm finishing this page by adding a last drawing and after that it's time to show you the final outcome. I hope my way of creating a collage in my journal entries inspired you to create something yourself. If you do, give this video a like and make sure that you subscribe for my next creative video. I hope to see you soon. Bye bye!